GDT is simple uh, game engine and it can be used to build simple 2D uh, games like Arconite, Galaxy, basic 2D racing games etc. So when we install GDT, GDT uh, folder contains uh, backgrounds folder having different backgrounds, uh, sounds uh, and uh, sprites. These sprites are the basic uh, images of the objects that we can take so let's move on and explore GDT um, first of all uh, I want to show you different file menus uh, the file menu contains uh, building for building a new game for loading a game save exit create an executable Crea uh, when we uh, build a game we will learn how to make a sprite create a room where the whole uh, arena would be displayed and uh, creating a sound background etc then we will run the game eventually so uh, let's move on and build an arconite game an arconite game is basically um, a rod there's a rod and there's a ball and the basic aim is to stop the ball from going beneath the uh, certain level so we'll try and make this simple game so let's uh, give a name to our game Arkanoid so uh, when when we build a game for the first time GDT automatically makes GDT games folder into the current directory and the current directory is D directory and it has made uh, folder naming game GDD games and all the games will be uh, saved here so for instance Arconide is saved in the D folder so let's move on and build a game so before uh, building a game we need to select different objects for the objects would be uh, a ball and a rod so let's create a sprite for it sprite is the basically an image for uh, our objects so let's uh, select this as a ball and we will name it as a ball B -A -L -L. ball so ball is built and you can see a sprite ball has been created next we will take an uh, rod for ok let's go on down uh, rod has been selected we will name it rod rod has been created and now we will building an object an object is a physical quantity of a sprite and it will be having different events and actions attached with the events so our first object would be ball and as you can see this is an event menu an event can be a create event or it can be keyboard events for uh, controlling um, our objects an alarm collision with another object mouse events destroy first of all let's use create event to create uh, our ball so with this event our uh, object ball is created and these and we can uh, attach an action to this event so if we create an a ball a ball should move um, in any of these directions we have uh, eight directions and we can uh, move anywhere in these directions so this event we can add this direction and when the ball will be created it will move in this down right direction okay with this uh, we created our object once successfully then we will build another object for instance a rod it's not selected not selected and uh, first it will we will create a rod the rod will be created but we are not attaching any event with the rod it will be created that's it and then we can use our 
keyboard events for suppose left so left uh, and we will hit left arrow on our keyboard uh, the rod will move left that's okay then then we'll we will uh, hit right the key uh, the rod will move right and we can use collision function a collision function will actually uh, we can see an object one appearing here so when this object collides with object one an event can be triggered so this event will be triggered and we can um, add different actions to it like uh, we can add sound we can add the score we can add we can exit a game uh, we can add a message so we can use an event sound over here so let's name it uh, sound and let's load a sound sound we have different sounds and let's take a boom shot for it let me play it for you we can check also the sound over here the sound will be triggered when the both the objects will be colli collided okay with this our second object is also built now we can see uh, a game building over here a sprite has been created two sprites have been created and sound has been loaded two objects have been created we are left with the background so we can select a background for a game so let's load a background we have pretty much options over here we can go and take this this is a nice background and this will be a background um, now when all our objects and background and uh, sounds and sprites have been created we can go and create an actual game and in our game there is a room room is actually a place where the actual game will be played so uh, we can place our objects over here so if I select object 1 so object 1 can be placed in my game room I place it over here object 2 can be placed I place it over here and we can select a background background is being selected now let's name a game this is the game title we can choose a width suppose it is 640 cross 480 and we can give the f fps the frame per second the rendering speed of a game so all settings have been done so what we can do we can now uh, move and play the game so before uh, building a game or running a game I can I want to show you something uh, the game actually has been built up here over here these are the sprites that we have taken and this is the database of the game so in my in this game engine it gives you the free the the game designer free ability to check it his or her database and can see different tables building up here these are the actions these is uh, and the events sound sprites this is the location of um, our sprites so we can we have pretty much options available for our users as well so let's now uh, load this game and play it we go and uh, load game option in a file menu and uh, let's go on the D drive in the game folder and, and now let's play it as you can see we, can, we are moving the rod and we are reflecting it oops I lost so with this our game is over
I hope you enjoyed making as well as playing this game. Thank you.